And now, here is the fellow to tell you all about our show, Harlem's mayor and favorite son, that clown prince of mirth, Willie Bryant. Willie Bryant, that's me. Thank you. Ah, you're a wonderful audience. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're glad to be back. Got another great show for you, too. Say, Tonight, wait, come we, here. I, I want to see you. Well, well, no, well, Freddie, 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 wait a minute. The people, we have a show, you know, go, oh, yeah, go. But, Willie, really, i got to see you right no, now. i got now, to see you. Yeah, Freddie, now. Not now. I'm busy. I'm going to put a show on. You, I, you, you can't bust in like this. But it won't take you but a minute. What really? do you want? What do you well, want? I want a job. You yeah, promised oh, to give me a job, oh, Willie. You Freddie, look, I've got, what can I do with you? i got Faye Adams in the show. I've got Amos Milborn in the show. I've got the Larks in the show. I got. Oh, I got so many people in the show. I can't put you in the show now. Yeah, put Freddie in the show. Well, you, you, I'm not ready for Freddie. I know, but well, I, I tell you what, I just thought of something. Yeah. Will you take another job for the time being? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you what? see, they want a receptionist down at the uh, library. Yeah. Uh, they say they want a man. Um, well, well, I'm a man. I'm well, a man. I, I didn't mean that, but, but I tell you, well, this is a very funny job because you meet a lot of peculiar people down there. They have, you know, some people are very sensitive about certain things. Yeah, and yes, And one yes. woman in particular. One? Yeah, she goes down there every day. Yes. This is the most amazing woman that you've ever seen. What's you know why? She can actually read what you're thinking. Oh, no, I don't mean she gonna read my mind. She can read anybody's mind. She passes it every day. I think here she comes down. Hello, Flo. Oh, hello, Mr. Bryant. How are you? Hello, Freddie. How are you? I'm not kidding you. She can read what you... Re you heard her call you Freddie. You never met her, huh? But I don't believe it. Will you me. don't believe it? I don't believe in them things. Out I'm... of my way. All right. Out of my way, skeptic. You going over Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm, go I'm not going to open my mouth. Now, watch me. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. Hmm? All right. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. See what I tell you. Look here. Huh? You didn't say a word. An amazing, isn't it? Did she know what you was thinking about? Everything I was saying. I kept hearing her say, thank you, Mr. Bryant. You know why? Thank you. You know why? The first time I said, what pretty skin and eyes you have. That's when she said, thank you, Mr. Bryant. Yeah. The second time I said, gee, that's a pretty dress. I was thinking that. She said, thank you. Yeah. Then I really topped it off when I said, what a beautiful wife you'd make for some man. Oh, huh? boy. You see you, and she read everything you said. She can read your mind. I don't care what you're thinking. I'm going over. No, you're not. No, yeah, no, let me no, go ready, over. Ready, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Remember, she can read what you're thinking. That's all right. I'm going over there. I you're going still over don't believe it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to Go see. ahead. I'll watch. I'll oh, see. All right. Go ahead. Thank you, Freddie. <laughs> Freddie, now what no, did you say? No, I, 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 I knew you were going to do something. I didn't open my mouth. It you wasn't what Stanley, you said. I, what were you thinking? I was just thinking, how much did she pay for them false teeth? <laughs> oh, that's Freddie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready now to start the show rolling with uh, some good music. One of the greatest musical aggregations in the country. The entire world. They top everything. And they're going to have a good old-fashioned jam session. You ready for a jam session? All right, let's get back now. Get ready to pat your feet in your hands because here is Lionel Hampton and the band. <laughs>
you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you one of the country's greatest and most outstanding record artists. A young lady whose records have created quite a sensation all over this whole country of ours. She's here with us tonight. Here she is, Miss Faye Adams. Hi, Faye. Nice to have you here, dear. What are you going to sing for us tonight? Well, I guess it's every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Nice work if you can get it. Every day, Faye Adams. Every day. Sorry that this time it's mine. I'm so in love with you every day. I know our love's dying. Oh, darling, can't you hear? in you, yes, you knew it from the start, so darling, please don't break my heart every day, must I wait here by myself? you at this time, one of the finest dancers that you've ever seen. Now, to stand here and make a long, long speech about him would really be keeping you away from a great treat. What? With as many Broadway appearances and nightclubs and theaters throughout the country? I bet you've seen him before. If you haven't, you're in for a great treat right now. Freddie, open the curtains and let's bring on Bill Bailey. My good friend. Here's what Bojangles calls tipping down Main Street.
especially happy to present the next artist to you because I've known him for many, many years. I've watched his rise to stardom at many various stages of his life. He started out as a nightclub singer in the theaters way back many years ago when he first went on an amateur contest. Today he's one of the big names in the business. So here he is, Herb Jeffries. There's a song And it all Belongs to you In my heart There's a thing And a dream That you made true Now I know I must confess to you In this life I'll never fall Who has such loveliness as you In this world In this mind In my heart There's a song And it speaks Of you alone Of your lips Of your arms Of a love Then it seems to be like a symphony that it ends and begins in my look like this is me that's what it is well this ain't the flying saucer this is the sail and dish pan honey well sail on honey oh i mean i'm just sailing all around all over the place here there i'm sailing all over what's all the sailing about well you see i was in to see my doctor this morning oh yeah yeah he looked me over examined me real good uh-huh then he put me out the office he says man go ahead get out right quick go ahead pick up and enjoy yourself while you got time uh. so i'm just sailing now and picking up here there wait a minute fella cool down what did you pick up in california well, they wasn't putting down nothing in California. You're telling me. Yeah, but I picked up and left them there in a hurry. I know all about it. Oh, but wasn't I glad to get back to good old New York. Well, who wouldn't be? Yeah, good old New York. No sooner than I stepped off the plane there, right in the station. There was a man standing right in the station selling $5 bills for 50 cents. How about that? Yeah. But how could that fella do that? How could he do it? They can do anything in New York to make a living. Oh, they can. They don't ask you how you got it. No. All they want to know is have you got it. Oh, that's smart, huh? Yeah, and they're waiting for you. You better bring it with you when you come in, too. <laughs> it must have been something phony about those bills. Oh, no. I wouldn't say they was phony. No. No, they was just seconds, that's something. Oh, yeah, well, you see, they made a misprint on the bill. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see, they had Lincoln's head printed upside down on it. So what? His mustache was where his eyebrows should be. No kidding. He looked just like John L. Lewis from the Strike of Oh, what? Yeah, 
there, but I'm going to get me a whole basket full of them bills, and I'm going on back out west, and I'm going to do like the doctor said, pick up and have a good time while I got time. Well, what's wrong with you, Freddie? I can't keep up with those nice, beautiful girls like I used to. You know, doing that mumbo and all that. Oh, Freddie, I'm surprised that you're worried about the girls. Well, I don't see nothing else in the world to be worrying about. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. nothing wrong with me. Oh, I should say not. I should say not. You are you old. Enough. Don't you remember that old saying? What old saying? You know, they say a woman is like a streetcar. You miss one here, another one along any minute. Oh, just like streetcar. Just as I... Yeah, but I'm scared by the time I get there... They'll all be going back to the car barn for repair. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, don't let that worry you. No, I won't. I mean, after all, uh, you know, uh, you are right. Oh, well, I hope I am. Yes, indeed. I'm telling you, I'm lost as I can be. I'm back. Well, what about your doctor? What did he tell you to do? Well, he told me to go ahead on and enjoy myself. But I can't get back there. Oh, you can? No. Well, you poor fellow, I really feel sorry for you. Yeah, don't worry about nothing no more, huh? I should say not. Yeah. Well, why don't you try doing the mumbo? Yeah. See how easy it is? See, see, senorita. I'm too weak to take the trip. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the next artist is one of the great names in the blues and rhythm field. Although the tune he's going to play now is a real bouncy one, but it carries a very important message, and I want you to listen to it. Here he is, Amos Milborn. <laughs> Bad, bad whiskey Made me lose my happy home When I left for home this morning I promised I would think Stay real straight and sober I swore I wouldn't drink Bad, bad whiskey Bad, bad whiskey made me lose my happy home. I passed up all the pool halls, gave the boys a slip. Before the night was over, I started in to sip. Bad, bad whiskey. Bad, bad whiskey made me lose my happy home. My buddy had a party, the cats were on the loose. We started out with soda and ended up all juice. I'm bad, bad whiskey. Bad, bad whiskey Made me lose my habit
sad Now the blues have got me And I should got them bad Bad, bad whiskey Bad, bad whiskey Bad, bad whiskey Made me lose my happy home 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 Did you ever pass a theater or a nightclub when someone was coming out and you'd hear the expression used, Say, didn't she sing like a lark? Well, if that expression holds true, you're in for some good singing because I take pleasure in presenting to you at this time, The Larks. And here they are. Somewhere in the a couple of our cast to you right now because I want you to know them like I know them. Flo, come here. Freddie, yeah. come here. How are you both? Well, fine, Willie. You know, you kids have been running in and out of the show, spatting, and I, I bet that a lot of people in the audience hate you. No, wait. And maybe me. some people hate you. Oh, no. But in true life, they're really wonderful people, and they are married. Oh, yes. Yeah, how about the marriage, huh? Well, you know how love life is. Oh. <laughs> it starts off when you sink in his arms. Yes. And winds up with your arms in the sink. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> what do you say, Pat? Oh, Willie, I, uh, I tell you the truth. You know, uh, marriage life is too many rings in it for me. Too many rings? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, first there's the engagement ring. Right. And then the wedding ring. Right. And then the suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, it is, Willie. Oh, it's all right. I don't know. I I still think I got tricked into my marriage, though, Willie. Hey, that brings something back to my mind. I heard a fantastic story. I I wish you would enlighten me on it. What's that? Is it true that uh, your little brother, when Freddie was courting you, slipped the minister down to the house and he got on behind the sofa? That's That's right. right. Then the little brother came through the living room with his baseball suit on and the bat? That's right. And he said, who likes the Dodgers? I said, I do. Then the little boy said, who likes the Giants? I said, I do. And is it true that the minister jumped up from behind the sofa and said, I now pronounce you man and wife? That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful life. I'll always remember that. And and another thing, it it hits me all the time. What is this uh, saying about uh, English language or something? Oh, you mean the uh, English language being the mother tongue? Yeah, uh, yeah, that it must be right. Why? Because father never gets the chance to use it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, once again, that sensational man of rhythm to play another great number for you, Lionel Hampton.
Come on, boy. You can do it. Come on. Ain't nothing to it. He ain't got nothing on the ball, Jackie, boy. Hit the ball. The base is loaded. Clean him, Jackie. He ain't got nothing but a slow, fast, inside, outside ball that turns. Hit it, Jackie. <laughs> there it goes. A home run. I do it. I Everybody's running. Everybody's running. Help yourself. Everybody. Get up. Next man up. Next man up. Who is it? What? Ball one. Who? Who's up? Who's at bat? Tell me, man. Who's at the bat? Hit it, hit it, hit it, Roy boy, hit it, Roy boy. Hit that ball, Roy boy. You're going to win this game for me today. Hello. Go ahead, Thanks. hit that ball, Roy. Hey, yourself, whatever. hey, Bella. Yeah, what? I see you're quite a baseball fan. Oh, this is, this is the day's game. The day's game of game of all games. You Fine. Know? I, I, I agree with you, but give me a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I'm you know go. anything about baseball? Oh, me, I'm an old Great baseball game. Here you are. Help yourself. There you are. Go ahead. Hit How that you, ball. I want cigarettes. Oh, cigarettes. Hey, there you are. How do you know this is the kind I wanted? That's the kind you got. Whatever kind you want, you got it. Hit the ball. Really? Well, don't, you? don't interrupt me. I remember, uh, give me my change now if you're so interested. I gotta go. Say what? I said, give me my change for my $10 bill. What change? I, the $10 bill I just gave you. You gave who $10? You. I, I <laughs> look, I only got four tens in here. Now, look, fella, don't tell me I didn't give you $10. Now, look in that box. My $10 in there. Shh, wait a minute. Hit now, the box. Wait a minute. I'm not kidding with you. I want my look, change. I ain't kidding you. Well, look, look in there. I, I got four $10 bills. Is your name on either one of them? <laughs> yeah, there it is, right there. That, yeah. Yep. Maybe yep. you're right. I don't think I remember this one this morning. I'm going to give you a chance. Thank you. There's six, seven, <laughs> yeah. eight. Yeah. Wait, you know one thing you asked me if I knew anything about baseball? Yeah, this is oh, a great game. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hit it, Gil. Hit it, Gil. All right. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Wait. Come on. Let me slide out. Now, give me my change. What's your My ten dollars. I just hand you your change. Listen, you're so wrapped up in baseball, you don't know what's happening in here. Maybe I'm a little forgetful. All right. Give me my change. What did you give me? Five cents. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, nine seventy-five. There's five. Right. Six. Yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah, you're talking about Gil Hodges. Now, that yeah, Gil Hodges is quite a ball. baseball player. Wait a minute, he's yeah, at bat. He's at bat. Yeah, he's at bat again. Back on. one. Yeah, Back one. I hear it. Wait a minute. He's on. Two men on base. Wait a minute. Don't, yeah, I'm, I'm don't interrupt me. I've no got to go. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Give give no, no, give me my change. <laughs> I just give me change. Go oh, ahead. Now, now listen, look. mister, give me my change, now, please. I know you're a baseball fan. You're all enthused, but I want my change. Baseball or no baseball, I just gave you a change for $10. You walked in, you asked me for a cigar. I'm not playing with you, fella. Give me my change now. $9.75. Who do you think you're hollering at? Me, this is my money. I'll give you my change. Well, then you pick your change and don't ask me for no more because I'm running out of money. Five, six, yes. seven, eight. Now that's all. Here's your yeah. 75 cents. Here. Here's yeah. 50. Uh, yeah. uh, here, give me a quarter. Just give me a quarter back. Take the dollar. Now go ahead. Will you please? Much. Thank you. <laughs> you. Please don't bother me. This is a game Listen, of games. You've, you've got, got a very bad attitude. Yeah, you got a bad Tell attitude. Me, if you've got that kind of an attitude and you're in business, I don't want your cigarettes. Give me my $10. I don't want your business. Give me my $10. Get out of here. What? Give me my $10 back. I gave you your cigarettes now. Yeah, you gave me. Here, I'm glad to get rid of you. There's your ten dollars. Now get out. I don't need your business here. Thank you very Goodbye. much. Goodbye. <laughs> you imagine him? Thinks he can make a fool out of me. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce at this time a young lady whose career has been a fabulous one. One who's known throughout the world affectionately by the profession as Little Miss Sassy. And here she is. Sarah Vaughn. I look for my heart, it's Benita. I lost it way down in Torito while chancing a dance fiesta. Valero, he glanced as I danced with Valero. He said, take an office sombrero. Let's meet for a sweet fiesta. Yearning to lose Benita I look for my heart, it's Benita
Jackson, solid. Hey, how'd you make out? Stonewall, Jackson, Stonewall. <laughs> you know, Nipsey, what's that? It really must be wonderful to stand up here and make people laugh. To be a great comedian like that. Gee, I, I wish I had that knack, you know? Nothing to it, Uncle Willie. Oh. You could do it. Oh, no, no. We me. could we could do it. You and I? We can be a comedy team and we don't even need to rehearse. Oh, no. This I won't believe. I'll show you. Not with me, you know? Yeah, I'm... with you. All right. Right here, Pro we can make them laugh. Prove it to me. All right. Now, all you got to say is, that's good. That's good. Or, that's bad. You mean to say we can make them laugh just saying, that's good or, that's bad? That's all you got to say. Whichever occurs to you, you just say, that's good, or that's bad. And we'll make them laugh. We'll make them laugh. Want to try? I, I'm ready. Here we go. All right. All right? Yeah. Uncle Willie! Yeah? I just got married. That's good. No, that's not good. I married an ugly old hag. <laughs> oh, that's bad. No, it's not so bad, because she is rich. That's good. No, it's not so good because she's rich and she's mean. She won't give me any of the money. Oh, that's bad. Well, it's not so bad because she bought me a beautiful house. Yeah, that's good. No, it's not so good. The house burned down. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good because she was in it. Now she's gone. I'll get all the money. And that's good. <laughs> You know what? I can tell right now that you're going to be a wonderful audience. And with a great, warm reception like this, we just can't miss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Ready for a good show? I'm ready to present it to you. Presenting at this time a gentleman of royalty in the musical world with a great musical aggregation. So let's get together and you'll say that's good as we present to you Count Basie and the orchestra. <laughs> Thank you. 
first time now to sort of slow the tempo down and introduce you to some real solid groove, music that's sound as a rock. In fact, I'd like to present to you a man who wisened the world up about what the blues is all about. They call him Big Joe Turner, the daddy of the blues, and I'd like to set a tempo sort of like this for him to bring him on so I can give him to you. Hey, Joe! Hey, Big Joe Turner! Come on in! Get crazy, no? Down, no, boy! Let him rock a while. Get out of that kitchen, baby, wash your face and hey. sort of get into what they call a jumping mood. You know what I mean by jumping mood? Well, that's uh, sort of a slang for getting with it and let's boot it. And I got four boys here who can really boot it for you. Are you ready for them? So let's boot it up. The Delta Rhythm Boys. Backbone, the backbone connected to you. Shoulder bone, the 
to present to you an artist that I've greatly admired since I first had the pleasure of seeing and hearing her on our show. And we're mighty happy to have her back with us again, and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy just as much as you did the last time. And here she is, Martha Davis and her spouse. Well, mister, you've had your last chance, and this sister's through with your romance. There's no need to even ask why. I've just one thing to say, and that's goodbye. Read all about your chip away. All the columns say you just love to play. Just one thing to say, and that is, honey child, <laughs> goodbye. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to know where you're at. I don't want to meet you, you bum, you Gonna hit you with the little baseball bat Now will you please get out And when I say out I mean away Let the door knob hit you Where the boogeyman bit you All I got to say is Honey, goodbye breakfast in bed. Yeah, I'm going to get a great lover who uh, charms will discover. Look out. P.S. to you, honey. Drop dead. <laughs> Going to find a nice young gent who you really think my, my friend's golden boss. Yeah, he'll be full of nutrition like the Hollywood tradition. Look out, honey. <laughs> I'll get lost. I was behind you when you went up, but I ain't going to be behind you when you go down. Don't wire me SOS cause I ain't in that mess in my address. Forget it. <laughs> On back where you've been. Keep loving and living. 
living in sin. Till we meet you once more. I think I'm gonna do just a little old living myself. And Satan's that dog. Goodbye forever. I'll see you never. Off we the same. Adios. Au revoir. And now for a fast change-up. You know, when a pitcher gets a 3-2 count on a batter, you know what he does, don't you? He comes in with that fast ball. Well, on deck out here, we got a little slugger who refuses to be pitched out. And I'm sure that you will agree with me when I say he's one of the greatest. And here he is, Lil Buck! who refuses to be struck out. He's a hard hitter. And speaking of hits, well, there's a guy standing on the uh, on-deck circle right now waiting to come on, and he's more or less been a hit every time he's been on the Harlem Variety Review. He's more or less a regular. I would say that his batting average is about a 1,000. I'm sure that you'll agree with me, too. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, that home-run hitter of songs, Nat King Cole. Wow, 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 wow. Me how she feels so sad Sitting by the ocean Me how she feels so sad Don't got the money To take me back to Trinidad Fine Calypso woman She cooked me shrimp and rice Fine Calypso woman She cooked me shrimp and rice Jockey hot dog, don't treat me stomach very nice. In Trinidad, one dollar buy papaya juice, banana pot, six coconut, one female goat, and plenty fish to fill the boat. One bushel bread, one barrel of wine, and all the town she comes to dine. But here is bad one dollar buy, cup of coffee, ham on rye. Me throat she sick from necktie, me feet she hurt from shoes, me pocket full of empty, I got calypso blue. Give me big scares, black to root, is blonde 
curly hair. Her eyelash falls, her face is pink, and pads are wet. And girl, she ain't. She jipped a bug when she should waltz. I even think her name is false. But Calypso girl is good a lot. Is what you see is what she got. Sitting by the ocean, me how she feels so sad. Don't got the money to take me back to Trinidad. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Thinking about the money that I owe you. Uh-huh. And I just couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep? No, I had to get up out of my bed to come over and find you and tell you <laughs> that I can't pay you. Now you fix it so I can't sleep. How come you can't pay me? The races. Oh, low-down hound. Hound? What kind of races do you play? Horse races. What track you play at? I play over here. That track's crooked. <laughs> Why don't you play over here around? That's where I lost my money. Yeah. How much did you lose? I lost you about... You didn't have that much. <laughs> no, all you had was... I right. had more than that. Yeah. I bet on a horse, and that rascal didn't come in. Was he that far behind? Yeah. Who was the jockey riding him? A jockey by the name... He can't ride. <laughs> no, I thought he went out here to ride for... He Mr. did, but they fired him. He came on back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and do you know what he did? What? Let me tell you, boy, he... You should have had him arrested. <laughs> now, the horse you should have bet on was he number... He was scratched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, Dan, hmm? you don't look so good. No, I don't feel so good either. Well, why, why don't you go away? Take a little little trip for your health. Yeah, I think I'll go out here to, uh... Don't go out there. It filled up. <laughs> I would suggest that you go over to... And get 10 years. <laughs> if you went, how would you go? Driving. Driving what? A uh, 1900 and... You'll never make it. Hey, look at here. Uh, what time is it? Well, now it's is almost... Is it that late? <laughs> yeah. I got to go over here and see... She's not at home. Well, where is she? I think she went down... I'll see her then. You take it easy. All right. I don't know about... Hey, well... <laughs> That's why I like to talk to man, Dan. We always understand each other. But let me tell you, I did go to the racetrack. Went to the racetrack, I had a roll big enough to choke a horse. That's what I should have done, was choke that rascal instead of betting on <laughs> I bet $15 on a horse's nose, found out after the race I could have bought him for 10 <laughs> I didn't mind him getting left at the post. That could happen to any horse. But when he stopped in front of the grandstand and asked me, which way did they go? That's when I gave up. <laughs> and I thought I had a good horse. He left the post 20 to 1. Came in at quarter after five. <laughs> the horse ran so slow that the jockey actually felt guilty. He felt guilty. When he got into the stretch, the jockey started giving the whip, you know. The horse stopped. Looked back at the jockey and said, Man, what are you hitting me for? There's nobody behind us. <laughs> I left. Walked around to the little place where they were serving drinks. All of a sudden, a guy walks into the bar. He had his handkerchief up to his neck like this. He raps on the bar. The bartender comes over. Says, What can I do for you? The guy said, Martin, do you want a drink? Martin said, don't I know you? He said, where you been? Over to the racetrack? He said, did you, did you win? You bet? You lose? How much you lose? Martin said, two dollars. The Martin said, two thousand dollars? Bartender said, gee whiz, if I lost $2,000 on the races, my wife would cut my throat. <laughs> and now it's a pleasure to present to you Cab Calloway. This story about Minnie the Moocher. She was a red, a hot, huge coochie. She was the roughest, toughest frail. Minnie had a heart as big as a whale. Hidey, 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 Oh, 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 oh,
that she was neat. He gave her a home built to gold and steel, a diamond car with people like the real. Hadi 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 had